Okay friends, assalamu alaikum. This video is to discuss some of the basic concepts, date concepts in SAP financials. So the important date which we usually come across, frequently come across in SAP financials are the document date, the posting date, the entry date, the value date, sometimes the baseline date and sometimes the translation date. So we shall see the meanings of uh, these date concepts in today's video. So I am in T code FP03. Through WebGUI, I have opened an accounting document. So this is the document number. This is the company code to which this document relate. This is the fiscal year. And this is the first date, which is the document date, which is the subject matter of today's discussion. So a document date, uh, let's press F4, F1 to see what's the definition delivered uh, inherently by SAP. So the document date is the date on which the original document was issued. So in very simple terms, it is actually the date of the transaction, the date which is there on the source document. So for example, if there is an invoice, then the whatever date is on the invoice is the document date. If there is a utility bill, whatever date appears as the issue date on the utility bill, that's the document date. It is also known as journal entry date. If we use Fury interfaces of SAP, it is usually now referred to as a journal entry date. But this is a misnomer, general entry date, because in the accounting literature, general entry date usually refers to the date in which, on which the accounting is being taken uh, care of in, uh, on a particular transaction. So the second important date is the posting date. So in general accounting literature, the posting date is equal to the general entry date. But in SAP, general entry date is actually what the document date is. So posting date is the accounting date for the accounting purpose. So if the posting date is December and the document date may be in November, so it means the entry will appear in the ledgers in December. So in usually in accounting, whenever we post, whenever we record a journal entry, we have a date on it and that date uh, is actually the posting date. So it will be reflected in the financial statements uh, of the period of the month in which the posting date falls rather than document date falls. So sometimes it is quite possible that document date is of the previous month and the posting date is of the current month or it can be the other way around. So let's see the inherent help provided by SAP for the posting date. So this is the date is used when entering the document in financial accounting or controlling. Controlling is the cost accounting or management accounting module. So these two are on the very face of the document. Then if we call the document header, uh, we come across uh, one more, one other date, which is known as the entry date. So let's see the definition of the entry date. It is specified the date on which the accounting document is entered. So remember the entry date is actually the date which is captured by the system automatically. It is not prompted to be entered by the user. Whenever a user calls an accounting document and posts an accounting document, he can actually change the document date or he can uh, enter the posting date, whatever it is. But entry date is actually captured by the system automatically. So this is the system date on which the actual entry is made. So being an accounting students, we all know, we all understand that accounting entries are not actually most of the times made in real time. So maybe an, uh, a transaction that occurred yesterday uh, has to be posted on yesterday. So the document date and the posting date should belong to the yesterday, but the entry date, if the uh, 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 entry is being entered in the system right now, uh, today, then the entry date will be captured by the system of today. And also the system captures the entry time. So this is the entry date. And this is very important date for the audit purposes because if an entry has been entered, say, months after the posting date or document date, this means that this entry has uh, uh, should be looked for um, uh, <clears throat> very carefully because the entries should usually uh, enter in time. So then we have, uh, if we go to the individual line item, for example, so this is the first line item, I double click it and I am prompted to a detail screen on which there is a date which is known as the value date. So value date is actually the date for bank accounting purposes. So whenever there is a, some sort of a clearing in a banking instrument, that clearing date is usually referred to as the value date. So it is not relevant for all accounting entries, but it is only relevant when the bank ledger is being implemented. So if a payment comes from, say, a vendor or a payment is made to a customer, then whatever date the actual bank money is transferred is the value date. So sometimes it is captured uh, uh, while the bank cancellation statement is made or sometimes it can be entered. And finally, there is a date which is known as a baseline date. 
so baseline date is actually the date from which the credit terms start counting so for example if uh, customer has allowed us a, uh, we have allowed our customer a credit period of say 20 days then from which date the credit period starts counting it may be the invoice date it may be the course delivery date it may be any other date so that date is actually known as the best baseline date uh, so this date also is relevant only for the items which are capable of being managed under the open item management or generally you can say it is relevant for transition with customers or transition with vendors so let's see the inherent help of the value date f1 it says that the value date is used in bank accounts and bank subsection accounts so it is not a very comprehensive definition uh, very comprehensive uh, help and again for the baseline date the baseline date is the date to which the periods for the cash discount deadline and the due date for net payment refer this is the case for line items in open item accounts for line items in gl account the item is due immediately so there is no concept of the baseline date so by open item we generally mean the customers or the vendors the parties to whom we deal with and uh, whose balances are subsequently set off with either payments or any other entry so these are the important concepts let's have a recap of them uh, we have uh, document date generally which is the date of transaction or source document we have posting date which is the date of for accounting purposes this is the main uh, important date for all the accounting purposes we have entry date which is the actual date when data entry made in the system then we have value date which is the clearing date for bank account purpose baseline date which is the date from which discounts and due dates starts counting and lastly if we see a document which is posted in foreign currency then there is also another date which is a translation date which actually is taken for the purpose of foreign exchange translation into the local currency or the company code currency so these uh, this was uh, all the uh, information which i intended to record about the some of the concepts in sap dates in sap financials dates in sap financials thank you very much